Blatantly Blunt TV. I'm here today on this sunny June afternoon with the hottest female rap duo right now in the UK. Bats in the Belfry. What's going on, ladies? Hello. Yeah, we all right. Hi, how are you doing? Definitely introduce yourselves quickly for people that may not know about you guys. My name's Envy. My name's Wanda. Together with Bats in the Belfry. Wicked, wicked, wicked. I think it's fair to say that 2014 has quite possibly been the best year for the female rappers in living memory. Like, in many ways, that's good for you, but there's more competition, in it? What's your thoughts for the scene at the minute, for the FEMCs? Um, the FEMCs, the scene's going pretty well. Obviously, there's new ones like Little Sim, she's killing it. Obviously, you've got your Nolays, you've got your A-Dots there, but, yeah, we just want to be a part of it. Yeah. You're bringing your own vibe. We, like, we don't see it as competition. We see it as, like, a great thing. Like, in the same way, back in the day, Missy Elliott was championing, like, Trina, the brat. It's not about a competition thing. It's about, like, wow, this is great. Look at this look at this avenue that we've all got and like it's great you know a lot of these people we've worked with in the past yeah. and it's a it's a good thing it's always going to be a good thing so the doors are opening up for the females right now Definitely. what do you think has been the major cause of that do you think that the the industry is bored of all the same kind of generic men rapping they're looking to break through with more women or is it just the fact that you guys are just sick at what you do and you're you're just doing your thing and that's why you're shining through i think it's both because there's a, there's a lot of guys out there and obviously we need a chance to speak as well and yeah, yeah. the females we're not coming at it weak we're coming at it just as hard if not sometimes harder so give us a chance and you know what i mean we, we're making good music man i think and yeah. we can compete on the same level so yeah. yeah i even like looking at it as like boys yeah, and girls yeah. and female MCs. i think fucking hell it's 2014 we're past that we've come to the terms with the fact that girls rap and i think good music will prevail at the end of the day like it doesn't matter whether we're girls or boys or no, I don't doubt. I mean, you just drop your like video music. I want to say music video, but it's more of a feature length song, really. <laughs> it's a movie, I seaweed, think. isn't it? That's the name of it. Yeah, seaweed. seaweed yeah. But you might think if you haven't seen the video that it's some like underwater kind of theme thing, but it's not. It's 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 set in a mental home, right? Yeah, we have got some yeah. costumes on. I'm not like, I don't know. Yeah, man. Like the whole seaweed thing. Like if you listen to the hook, it's about people just floating around, people not having like that drive and that ambition, and people not really knowing where to go in. Like yeah. people. People do, like, we're from the land of lost souls where no one knows where to go in, everybody floating. Like, that's what it's about. And, and I think that was, like, an observation that I made. And I think we know where we're going, we know where we want to be, and, and that's what the song's all about. We're from the land of lost souls where no one knows where they're going. Everybody floating. Seaweed in the ocean, let the tide roll out and let it flow in. That makes sense. That makes sense. Like, what was the concept behind that? How did you go? Why? How and why did you choose to to to, to place yourselves in a mental asylum amongst a bunch of crazy people? Yeah. And, yeah. The white white van at the beginning. Our track before that, we didn't do a video for that, but that was um, we say we insane in the membrane, and it was just about the guy in the, like white van or white cloak looking for us. So we're on the streets trying to run away from him and. Do you know what I mean? So that was just the, the step after that. We got caught by the man in the white van and we got taken to this mental asylum. So it just follows in from uh, the track okay. before that. So there's some sort of sequence yeah, there, yeah? Yeah. 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 All right. We're like kind of drawing reference to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, it's just say, like yeah, one yeah. of our favourite films, like amazing film. So, yeah, it's a good bit selection, of Good selection, good selection. Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, with your characteristics as rappers, do you think that is reflected in the video and that's why you did it? Or was there some sort of other reasoning behind it? No, I think it's our characteristics. It's bats in the belfry means a bit loopy, a yeah, bit crazy, yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. weird. So, yeah, that's that's how it followed on. And we're, like, we're in the mental home because sometimes we act a bit definitely, weird. Definitely. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. So, yeah, you guys are repping Manchester, right? Yes. I feel proud to you because we haven't really got a lot of music or especially not female music coming out of Manchester, so I feel proud. Like Flying the flag? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, speaking of that, on I was going through your SoundCloud earlier and I heard some track that you that you were sending for one of the dopest artists out there, but also he's, he's, he's doing his thing at the minute, but for Rio, who's a, he's like a grime and hip-hop crossover artist who's, who's been around for a little bit. What, what's the story behind that? The uh, story behind that is we've just we've uh, we've known Rio for for a long time. I've known Rio for a long time. When I was younger, I used to be in a little like grime crew with him called DFE. We did a little thing together. There's about fifteen of us, and it's just really like as artists, we want to be real and we want. <laughs> you know what I mean? When we see, when we see something and we see people not being that real or. Do you know what I mean? Taking things to another level where it doesn't need to be took there. We just yeah. need to say but something. People yes. are like making it out like, oh, this is massive beef with Rio. It's, it's not a beef thing. Like it was, like we said, it's not a diss song. It's just a real song. And like 
Rio spent a lot of time gassing things, mm. lying on Twitter. Okay. He came to one of our shows with like security guards with him, and we were just like, wow, is it like. We just shocked him. Really. It's not, I, I don't, I, yeah, we were just, like, we'll, we'll say whatever, basically. And, and the thing is, a lot of people will be saying these things behind his back. A lot of artists in Manchester, we don't need to name any names because we're not out here to hurt anyone up, but. No one, everyone would say, oh my God, why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? But nobody would say it to his face. And I'm not a two-faced person. Yeah. I would say yeah, it like... So Bats in the Belfry, as an act, you've been going for how long? As a duo, as a duo? As a duo. Over a year now. We've been signed... Yeah, we've been signed probably about eight months. Eight months, okay. Just okay. been recording. But as individual, I'm new to the game. You've been around a good few years. I've, I've, I've seen you at the jump off, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's and yourself, little... you've been putting out a lot yeah, of work I yourself. Did, I did a little thing. Um, I was gone for about five, six years. Recently, last about three years before I met Envy, about two years before I met Envy, did a little EP and yeah. got music back out there. Got my name buzzing a little bit. Um, yeah, but yeah, and then met, met up with Envy. We didn't used to really be on there. On the same level, they really okay. used to like each other, really, okay. to tell the truth. Because um, we didn't really talk, um, talk for the first time, and we, we bonded like, well, damn, like, so we thought, might as well join forces, because no, no one wants to no one wants to join forces nowadays, isn't it? No one wants to work together because they want the limelight for themselves. But it's better, unity is better, isn't it? Unity, well, mm-hmm. speaking of unity, what's the name of the radio station? <laughs> <laughs> unity Radio. Unity Radio, and yeah. that's, that, that's is that a hip hop show that you're running? Or? Yeah, I, I, well, I do the breakfast show, uh, which is the flagship show on Community Radio Station in Manchester. Mm. It's sort of like an urban station. It's, yeah. I guess, like Bang FM. You right, know, Bang right, FM. Right, yeah. um, and you know, some, it's got a massive like following in Manchester. It's like a real like figurehead of music out there, supporting our scene. I've done a breakfast show on there for about three years now, and that's actually where we met. I used to do a, a specialist hip hop show yeah. on a Wednesday night, and um, I invited Wonder on for International Women's Day, and, and like she said, we just clicked. We started doing a sci-fi, and we were just like, mm. we just got on so well. Just got on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, everything just came from there, I guess. All right, so what's next for Bats in the Belfry? Now that you got your heat with this seven-minute music video, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's that's big. What, what What's the next step? Basically, what we're trying to do is do shows, um, work on an EP. We've got an EP hopefully coming out in a few months. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're working on, working on new music. After that, work on an album, do a bit of shows, come out of the UK, try and go around Europe and do a few shows. So basically, it's just a start from us. Um, as you said, yeah. yeah, we've only just begun, so there's a hell of a lot. And what can we expect from your live shows? Energy, like a lot of energy, a lot of craziness. Uh, we've got a live drummer that comes out with us, okay. so we've got yeah, yeah, just yeah, mad yeah, energy, yeah. like fast lyrics, uh, crowd interaction, just a good time. Man. Yeah, we got our first um, Radio One play as well today. Awesome. Um, yeah, we're on seaweed. Yeah, it's a massive look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, for that first single as well, like yeah. that we brought Is that out. Seaweed or the yeah, we seaweed, seaweed to get yeah. Radio One play like That's straight massive. off, even before our uh, one extra first play. It's big, yeah, yeah. so. We're happy about that, and that was the news that we just got this yeah. morning, so that's that's, that's big. That. Well, they will know my name, one day they're gonna sing it, yeah, one day they will chant it, and I'ma make it last forever. You could call my flows tantric, rhyming patterns pedantic and frantic, like an adolescent wanking home alone under the blanket. As a duo, who would you guys look up to in terms of inspiration, UK, US, around the world? Like, what? Who would you, who who were you guys like really representing when you were coming up? Who were you like loving up when you when you before you were guys were making music yourself or, you know? For me, Eminem got to be like up there. It's, like yeah. one of my biggest influences. Nas, Nas was probably the rapper that got me into hip hop. Okay. Missy Elliott, obviously, Miss Dynamite, Method Man, Red Man, mm. those kind of people there. I know who she's going to say. <laughs> no, I, I like Eve, obviously. Eve, I don't know. Eve, Eve was like my like number one. Lauren Hill. Your yeah, Naz, Naz's, and obviously Miss Dynamite from the UK. That was like I, I adored Miss Dynamite. Got all the albums, everything like that. And I think like ne- I think nearly every female rapper really in the UK. Like Miss Dynamite did. Came out with One Wish. She back in the day, she was she was the one as well back in the day. So One Wish was my track back in the day. So it was yeah. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And what's your thoughts on the current rap, current crop of female MCs or just MCs? Like who you who you rating at the minute? Sims. Little Sims We're is doing hoping thing. to head down to an EP launch tonight. Yeah. Ada, obviously, big fan. Uh, love the stuff. Rockstar, No Late. Lady Likes. Lady Likes. Lady likes. That yeah. new cycle track is bad. Like, I really yeah, like that one. Yeah. There's so much out there, yeah. Okay, any words for any rappers on the come up that want to be just like the next Bats in the Belfry? Just do it. Go for it. Just don't give up. Just go for it. Like, if you want to make music, 
right? Go to the studio and just do you. Try and, like, just do you. Be a bit... Don't try and conform, if you know what I mean. Just try and do what you want to do and don't watch what anyone else is doing and hopefully it'll just start to move you. Yeah, I do youth work and I, I work with young people who are making music and, like, what I say to them is just... Don't focus on the results and like being like the next Jay Z out here. Like focus on making the music you want to make. Work on your product and your craft, and the rest will come naturally. And if it doesn't, then it's not meant to be. But yeah, there's so true. many other jobs in music as well. Like you don't necessarily have to be in the limelight. And and I think I, I think yeah, that's the biggest thing. Just be yourself. Do what makes you happy at the end of the day. And like it's not the easiest industry to be in. Like it's not. Say that again. It's yeah. not gonna happen overnight. It's not so. If this is your passion, then do it. If it's not yep. your passion and you're doing it to make money quick or to yeah, get you girls, won't, you won't then you, you won't that. stand it. Like, cause it is hard yeah. sometimes. If you don't love it and if is it if it isn't you, then you won't last. If you know what I mean, you have to love it, cause it is hard sometimes. Like, it's not like everything's not thrown on a plate. Like, it takes years and it just takes grafts and it's hard. And you know what I mean. You have to give out your time, sometimes mm. money. And it, you know what I mean. So you have to love it. Like, you have to really love it. And okay. then things will start to build for you. And then people start to invest their own time and money into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's some strong advice. Definitely. All right. Well, it's been Nick Blatney Blunt here today with Bats in the Belfry representing Peace. Yeah. I beat the beat so hard, the microphone need a plaster Don't see you people in labour, so I have no need to gas ya If you ask, I find it hard to follow the course like an alopecia and rhythm raster I stick out like a saw from hitchhiking, I'm zooming past ya They too late, I hold weight like carbohydrates grow waste This in my side, the liver some with they plaster Call me out, your boss got the bottle They dig me like a fossil, serious better I have to think it through like Aristotle I flow deep, they run away while I creep they sleep for the change it's all about the process so when they see me grow they're in a maze i'm blacked out so the emo see me stroll and roll they're in the days black a track seat i'm just picking up pace to flame throw on the page Octavia mortis like dorm men letting in girls in the club on the rage i'm on the rage just a little pissed and no alcohol ain't to blame more like the chemical imbalance of mixed substances left in my brain so it's like i meant all the things i said wrong can't promise won't see them again, them again.